Welcome Aries and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning uh, message cards and the middle pile and right hand pile will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So uh, Aries, let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for uh, the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. First card out, oh, great and full. Do you know something? This reminds me very much of the Lionsgate portal, um, that as I'm doing these readings for the week ahead, Aries, um, the Lionsgate portal is opening on the uh, 8th of um, this month on Sunday and it almost feels as if this really depicts um, what the portal is about. It's about uh, using that, that chalice, that cup to fill it up with all your fears and doubts, all your dreams, aspirations, and then release it. And it feels as if you are um, going to be feeling very grateful, very abundant, very full, okay? Um, blossoming. I feel that you're coming out as a winner, all right? If you've gone through some um, real tough challenges, these blessings You've received them, okay? And I almost feel as if this week, um, well, they've given me a, a few more cards here. Um, I feel that this week, uh, you're going to be feeling overflowing, un like totally abundant. Um, and look at that, yeah, earth magic. Whatever you, um, whatever you had planted in the past, whatever seeds that you had um um planted with regards to love let me just see okay okay so I'm, I'm gonna have to fix these cards afterwards but anyway um i feel whatever you have planted okay um with to do with a relationship or a situation outside of relationship uh, i feel as if divine spirit universe has got it all right and that magic is um happening uh with the uncharted seas i feel that yeah you are in the unknown right now right now it's a time burst of magic it's a time to um be grateful um to be grateful for everything that you have i'm just going to fix these cards just bear with me two seconds Okay, Aries, so I just had to shift the camera there. Hopefully now you can see all your cards um, uh, and obviously you've received an extra card. So I feel that you are coming out abundant, feeling really grateful. Uh, whatever seeds that you have planted, those blessings I feel are being gestated um, and they, it's like you have trusted Divine Spirit Universe um, and you've released, okay? And that earth magic is coming in. I feel that those blessings are coming in for you this week. Um, you may be feeling as if you are in a little bit of uncharted waters, um, but do you know something? I feel as if you are on the right path. Um, you are definitely facing your true north, okay? This could be to do with your emotions, all right? Maybe leaving something behind. Maybe you received messages, okay? Some of you with that stalk there, um, maybe you are, um, maybe you're expecting a child, okay? A birth of something, either a child or a birth of a new you, but you are definitely following that lantern, okay? Um, and I feel that you are going um, towards your true north, uh, leaving behind um, what didn't serve you, uh, definitely feeling a little bit un a bit nervous, I would say, with regards to a situation. And with a burst of magic, um, what I'm picking up here, it's almost as if uh, like a light bulb moment, you've been struck, you have blossomed, you have grown. And I feel, I almost feel like this blue flame coming in here. If you look at this closely, it does look like an image of a woman. Um, and I also seeing a blue flame. So the blue flame is this infinite, um, this is divine love. 
okay if you can imagine when we talk about the twin flames this is about two souls that make a soul contract for many 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 lifetimes to grow to develop um to change um part of their spiritual journey the blue flame is um you connecting with divine spirit knowing that you are surrounded by so much love aries this is divine connection and I feel as you are connecting with divine, appreciating, feeling as though your cup is overflowing, it's as though, it's like the universe is giving you a big massive hug, bringing all these blessings, I mean look at all these stars in all of these cards, it's like all your blessings are all coming in at once, you're not, I feel like you're not even going to know what to do with yourself, I feel like you may feel a bit overwhelmed, okay, like a burst of, burst of magic, it's like everything is unfolding, everything is unblossoming, blossoming everything is hitting you like a bolt of lightning um and you are the radical so you may want to just be fast and furious and just you know maximize all these opportunities that are coming because i feel as if this is in all aspects of your life okay work health finances love um starting a new business whatever it is it just feels as if you planted those seeds and this week you are going to start to see the abundance of all the work that's been done for you in the background by your spirit team by divine spirit universe and i just love this image of that kind of blue flame which i feel um that divine love it's just um it's it's endless okay okay Ooh, okay, I wasn't expecting to do that. Normally I do all of the cards first, but you know what? That's how I was moved. So let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom messages are, my angels. And thank you. And look at that, the storyteller intention. I'm the narrator of my life. I don't think that could have come out any more clearer for you. You, I feel as if Aries, for a time, you have been setting your intentions, manifesting, trying to go within, understand who you are, what you're about, what you want for yourself. Um, and I almost feel as if the wisdom that's coming in is that you're writing another story for yourself. You totally understand that you are the narrator of your own destiny. And you can do that by co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe. And that's where that blue flame is coming in. It almost feels as if you have surrendered, uh, released any expectations, but also knowing that you're co-creating with divine spirit universe your higher self to write a different picture to write a different story this is a, a real powerful aries real powerful beautiful message and let's take um i was i was i was led to use to wow yeah illusions okay i was led to use two separate decks for the wisdoms i have i don't know they haven't really told me why um but when i was uh going through the cards or asking my team what cards are we doing for this week um I, it was a toss-up between these two cards and then they just said to me use both so um we've got maya uh, coming in um and this is the alley of maya and illusion i feel as though uh, many many illusions uh, have been broken okay you're seeing past illusions you are so connecting with divine spirit universe um through your crown chakra and it's making you see you're blossoming you're opening you're seeing past illusions if there were tears i feel as if um it almost looks as if you look closely they just look like um uh what's it shards of um uh wheat so it feels as if yeah, maybe it's time to harvest. Harvest the tears, the pain, and turn it into something different. Rewriting that story. The wisdom coming in is that, yeah, you are seeing past illusions, seeing past lies, seeing past, you know, the cloak and dagger situations, you know, outside work inside work with regards to a relationship um you're seeing past all of that you're done with the tears you, it's like you're going to use that knowledge that wisdom to write a new story really beautiful really really beautiful and it and it feels a little bit you know uh uncharted uncertain 
All right, Aries, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the um, video. It really does help to push the video out to other Aries. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. It will help you get notifications. But honestly, it really does help um, uh, the channel as well. So thank you in advance. Returning subscribers, thank you for your support, encouragement, donations. I'm truly, truly grateful. And I hope that you too um, also get um, a really meaningful and useful message out of this reading. All right, Aries, let's uh, jump straight in and see what your message is for this week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 9th of August through to Sunday the 15th of August 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aries that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, Aries, let's see how this is playing out in context with um, your soulmate. Whoa, okay, so we have, okay, we have the eight of wands. So uh, swift communication is coming towards you. This person may, um, it's going to surprise you. It's like it's going to come out of the blue. Um, they may actually travel to you, all right, or they are planning to travel to you to have face-to-face -face discussions, all right? Thank you. They're, okay, so yeah, there was a tower moment, okay, or there is going to be a tower moment. Whatever this conversation is, I feel as if both of you are going to be left um, wondering uh, what direction you're going to go in, all right? And that may be the uh, uh, illusion that you may uh, be breaking free from, all right? This person, um, either you may respond to this person uh, by text message, that you actually don't know what to do with what they're saying to you. If this is resonating so far, um, Aries, check out the collective read because that was all about somebody that is going to say something to um, uh, whoever I was picking up on and they were going to say something that they didn't mean, all right? And it was almost like the message was that you need to like, don't bite, don't react, because that person is going to come around and tell you something else. They're going to rethink the situation. This could be, that reading might might be applicable to you. Because this person's coming in with swift conversation that is going to create some sort of tower moment. They're going to be at a crossroads. So are you going to be at a crossroads. But I feel that what you're going to do is you're going to respond after thinking about it for a little while, What, how you're going to handle this. You're going to respond by a, a, a text message or something or a telephone call. Thank you. OK, so with the seven of pentacles, that looks like it came out in reverse. I feel as if, um, Aries, you planted a lot of seeds, OK? Yeah, with that earth magic. Um, but I feel as if you got to a point where you needed to release it. Release it and trust that divine spirit, universe, your higher self will water it for you, will will nurture it, will um, um, take it out of gestation and, and, and bring the two of you into, into union in some shape, form or another. With it in reverse, I feel as if um, that may have been an illusion all right. And whatever this person is coming in to say to you, that is what is uncharted territories. That is what you're thinking. OK, I've I have released this to divine spirit universe. And in no uncertain terms, this person is communicating to me that they don't want this. They don't want this relationship. They don't want to nurture. They don't want to nurture this with me. Just remember, you are in uncharted waters, okay? And if that collective read is resonating for you, you're going to write a different story. Let me get, oh, okay, that's too many cards. Let's just get one more, please. Thank you. Wow, yeah. 
you are going to transform the situation. What was I just this minute saying? You're going to write a different story. OK, um, and I th you could be dealing with a, a, a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. I feel as if something is going to be transformed. OK, and I feel as if um, <laughs> Aries. Honestly and truly, read the collective, um, watch the collective read, because what this looks like is this person is going to come in and transform a situation. But it's going to be after they say something that's going to uh, create some sort of disharmony between the two of you. And it feels as if they're going to come back round and come towards you and transform the situation. This may also mean that you are going to walk away from this. That's the choice the crossroads that you're at and that's where I feel that you're being guided particularly with that collective read don't react don't react Aries because I feel that you are the one that's going to have the power to transform the situation but you it, it's like 50 50 it's like you're going to walk away and transform your situation because you're seeing through illusions you're going to write a different story but another way that it could come in is that this person is going to say something that's upsetting to you you may respond they may then come towards you with a different attitude a different message okay almost surrendering to you um almost as if whatever they said they're putting it behind them it, they're, they're they're trying to come out of it they're rethinking they are um closing off um you know dying the old way of thinking and coming towards you with a transformation a different message let's have a look at your clarifiers to get look at that I feel that this person wants to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection. Both of you do, actually. But there is going to be a discussion that's going to swiftly come in out of the blue, Aries, that um, I feel is going to upset you. Yeah. Putting you both at a crossroads. And I feel that how you're going to handle it, you're going to send some or you're going to think about sending a message via telephone. Oh, M G look at that we've got the um eight coming out again you know what I'm just counting my maths is really rubbish but I'm just counting eight and eight is 16 isn't it eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and then six and a one is a seven which actually means that that is the seven of wands the seven of wands is somebody wanting to fight for the connection what did I say Two conversations are going to happen with this person. <laughs> so they're going to rush in unexpectedly, say something, drop some sort of flipping bombshell. It's going to upset you. You're going to think about it. You're both going to be at a crossroads. You're going to think, OK, well, do you know what? I planted enough time. I need to move on. Then guess what? They come in with a second message. To transform what they rushed in and said that created a tower moment. Do you know what? Can't even make that up, can I? Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides. Uh, and the seven, the seven of wands. So eight and eight is 16. Six and one is seven. Seven of wands. The person wants to fight for the connection. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Two messages coming in from them. Let's continue. My angels. Thank you. Oh, did that turn? No, not. Well, look. It. Well, it did. And look at that, it's the same, it's the same card. Um, so it came out in reverse. Um, you're, I feel that you may be strongly dealing with a, a Scorpio and I feel that that has come in to let me know that it's not you that's going to walk away. It's them coming towards you with a trans, a different attitude, rethinking the situation. Honestly, honestly, watch the collective read. It is like your story just playing out. I feel as if this person um, knows that when they come in swiftly, unexpected, might be face to face, creates a bit of a bombshell. OK, um, they know that they've got to come back around and correct it. OK, um, with the death in reverse, it, it almost feels as if um, it almost feels as if this person <coughs> 
they're avoiding they're avoiding how they feel they may be under some sort of illusion uh to be quite frank um and it almost feels as if they yeah they're resisting they're resisting um resisting the connection and it almost feels as if this person rushes in says something that blows up yeah and it's because they're resisting, they're resisting really talking their truth. Hence why later on in the week, they're coming in um, and they're going to transform the situation. Because whatever kicked this off, it's because they are, they're resisting, the, the, they're resisting the, uh, talking about how they feel. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. OMG. Cannot even make that up. This person wants to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection. There could be a third person that is influencing. They could have somebody else that they haven't closed out a relationship with. And that is why they are just kind of like in this kind of, I'm almost feeling like that kind of knight of wands energy kind of in out. But they can't, you, they can't ignore this connection that they have with you. But for most of you, I feel that they want to celebrate this connection. They want to be around you. All right. But they are resisting it. And here comes your energy, uh, male or female. This nine of pentacles, I feel as if um, they know that by, how can I put this? They know that by coming in, dropping in a bombshell, you're going to turn your back on them. It almost feels as if this person is forcing you to leave them. Does that make sense? It's like they're doing and saying things to push you away because they're res resisting the, co um, the connection. But really, I feel that what they want to do is celebrate this connection, um, be around you, all right? Um, but what they're doing here is pushing you away, all right? But it also could represent there is a third person and they may be getting pressure from that third person that they, that you need to, they need to make a choice between you and them. And I feel as if they're going to try and resist you and that they're hoping that you will walk away. Thank you. <gasps> and look at that. The tower in reverse. So what basically is going to happen when this person comes around with a second message to transform the situation? That is when um, this tower is going to fix itself, basically. It's as like whatever the crossroads the two of you are at. Um, it's almost like this denial of what road to take fear reluctance reluctance to let you know how they feel that's the choice that they've got to make and it almost feels as if as they come in with some sort of change something that they're going to throw a curveball that's going to both put you at a bit of a crossroads it's because they're in fear they're in denial, fear, denial, fear, denial, resistance. And it's like they're in denial of how they feel about you, Aries. Thank you. Ah, uh, look at that. Yeah. You know, okay, um, interesting because we've got the two of cups and the two of wands here so i feel that you're going to really think very clear closely about what you're going to message back to this person because you know that they are your twin flame and they you know that and um, that they are your ultimate soulmate otherwise you wouldn't have put the work in and it almost feels as if yeah, it's like um, the illusion of what they're going to say to you is what you need to see through. So don't react. Honestly, watch the collective uh, video because that will um, that will I keep going on about it. But that is what I'm seeing very, very, very strongly. You know that this person wants to give to this connection, but you may not know that they're oper they're, they're resisting it. They're operating from fear, denial. That's why they're coming in with an un, unexpected message or communication or something face to face. It's just going to throw a curveball in here and just change things up. But you see this person as your ultimate soulmate, twin flame. Uh, Scorpio is coming out real strongly here. And 
yeah, that's the only major arcana. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you? Thank you. Oh, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. Can't even make it up, can we? So I feel that the Wheel of Fortune is coming in here. Um, I feel as if the Wheel of Fortune is coming in to um, turn this wheel into your favour. Some sort of truth is going to be speaking. Taurus is coming in. Leo is coming in strong here. I don't know if that's Sagittarius or Aquarius, but there's truth, all right? And I feel that the truth is, is that um, whatever it is you have released to divine, trusting that they will take care of whatever it is that you set, you, the seeds were planted. I feel divine is coming in and saying that you're going you're gonna to write a different story. Hold on. You know, don't give up hope. Uh, this Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favour. Wow. Okay. So I feel that you are going to be hurt. And it's interesting because the collective read did say that. You are going to be hurt. You are going to be upset. All right. A bit regretful. Not understanding, confused why they said what they said. But it's going to turn in your favour. It's going to upset you. Just remember, Aries, that they're going to come round later on in the week with a second message that's going to transform the situation. Over regret over what they said to you with this first message at the beginning of the week. Or the middle of the week. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? For Monday, the 9th of August through to Sunday, the 15th of August, 2021. Thank you. So, yeah, this person is going to come in and they're going to speak their truth because, look, their hand is coming towards you. So, again, further confirmation that that death card is this person going through transformation after they say a first message to you during the week. Um, and I reckon that they're going to come in in the same week with a second message to speak their truth, okay, and put... Um, bad conversations that they had with you, i.e. this very first one, put it behind them and move forward. I don't feel that they're going to want to talk about it majorly. They're going to come in with a whole new message. And that's what you need to read between the lines, because what they're technically doing is saying, look, I don't, I, I don't, I, I didn't mean what I said. Yeah. And they want to move out of that choppy water, coming towards you with truth, wanting a new beginning after going through transformation, rethinking about what they, that first message that they come in and tell you, rethinking about it and thinking, oops, uh oh, uh, I may um, lose Aries, so I best fix it. Um, and I feel by you holding back, seeing through the illusion, seeing through that what this person is saying, even though it's going to upset you, Aries, you being the warrior, the fire warrior of the zodiac sign, you are almost going to want to retaliate. Fast and furious, that's what I saw. Like, you're just going to like, you're going to want to rush in and just say, do you know what, what the heck are you going on about? Um, that is what you are being guided to don't do. Yeah, it almost, and, and do you know what, Aries, trust me, um, it feels as if you're going to just go against your whole essence, because you're somebody that um, you've got that fire. Once, you, once you've got a bee in your bonnet, nobody can change your mind. Nobody is going to stop you. You're fast, furious, in there, get it sorted. Like, I ain't having this. But the difference is, is that's exactly what you need to learn. Um, and, and that's what you need to learn, that there is a time to come in and be the warrior and far, be fast and furious and there's a time to just literally be still 
see through the illusion, see past what actually is verbally being said to you and write a different story. Because this person's going to come in with a second message because they want a new beginning because they know whatever they said to you was bullshit, right? It wasn't true. It wasn't how they were really feeling. And they're going to transform from that. All right. So, wow. Okay. Uh, let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. What is your advice for Aries, please? Sun, moon, rising and Venus in love for Monday, the 9th of August. Thank you. Meditate. Look at that. Reconnect with your inner spirit, walk, practice yoga, meditate or listen to music. Absolutely. This is you connecting, okay? Connecting with divine spirit, feeling that um, unconditional infinite love, the universal love, letting you know that you are good enough, you have enough and everything will unfold in time. You're going to come out victorious, okay? But I feel that you are being guided to connect and look at that. Uh, we've got holiday and music. We've got music here. So if music is something that is uh, very healing or powerful for you, uh, we've got music coming up twice here. Connect in that way. We have holiday. It's time to go on that holiday that you have been dreaming about. Live life. So you may need to take a little bit of a, a, a weekend break. Um, disconnect for a little bit uh, to meditate. Listen to music. Get back your joy so that you can rewrite this story, see past illusions and actually take um, positive steps. Uh, don't react because you're in uncharted water. Know that you're heading towards your, due, uh, your true north, okay? And you have the power to rewrite the story. And the music card, it says, express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits, absolutely. So meditate, connect with what brings you joy. For some of you, it's going to be listening to music, writing music, singing music. Um, and you may need to just pull your energy away, full stop, um, and just take a break um you know maybe um over that weekend um just take a break and you might actually do that look at that that does look like um somewhere that is um you know sand sea you know you're at a hotel room at the at the balcony just thinking mm, okay how am i going to react how am i going to react to what this this person is saying to me and that's possibly why you might end up sending a message or thinking about sending a message because actually you guys might be at a distance. Um, so whatever, it almost feels as if they're going to say something, throw a curveball, you possibly, the advice is just go away. Just leave it so that you don't react. Connect, meditate. And then you might send another message that perhaps is a bit more appropriate which you never know might trigger them to come in and respond and transform this situation oh Aries what a fascinating read what a fascinating read if it does resonate please click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already until next time I'm sending you loads and loads of love peace and light you take care Aries bye bye